Right, so I need to calibrate this new stripping and ditching bucket. So we'll tap the bucket icon, tap the up arrow, and then we'll go to add bucket. We'll call it ditching. Press a tick, put in it existing. Uh, Encon, we'll go next. Bucket length. Bucket length is from the blade. Let's see if it stays on there. Steady to the centre of pin. Bucket length and then bucket width. If you're unsure, just click the question mark. And then top one, bucket length, and it'll give you an icon of what to do. Length is 1.825. So we'll do the width now. So this is a bucket width. 2.135 tick and click the next arrow I'll come up with this screen so whatever way you're doing it you can do it a laser or a plumb bulb I always do it with a plumb bulb because I haven't used a laser yet so we'll click on that one and then it'll come up with a diagram obviously not sure click the question mark click on what you want and it'll show you what to do all right so there's my plumb bulb this is just a bricky one so get it so it's in the centre of the pin so the line's in the centre and then you curl the blade round so it just touches the edge of the line it's obviously easy if you get someone with you that's why I've got my luxury assistant with me today so we give that's that a go now, and then just click calibrate now I'll come up with a time and a date when you've done it screen move the cutting edge so it's horizontal See, so don't know, click the question mark button, click on what you want to know, and then it gives you a diagram. So it's easy if you've got a magnetic one, place it on there, bobs your own, so that's level now, and you just click calibrate. Date and time, done. Next arrow, and you've got to line it up in the green, green outline on the bucket. So we'll do that now. Right, so we're all lined up. It's all green now, get calibrate, and then finish out. Bosch, let's see what it's like on the date. So Lloydy, what have you got as a datum? I've got 127.4041. Bosch! Yes! So, look at that. Get up there.